My name is Joshua Blues and I play either six or eight in the midfield and I'm from Toronto, Ontario. So I joined Vaughn High Performance when I was 14, beginning of the first year of PDL season and um, honestly it's just helped me with my game. I've learned to see things that other players wouldn't normally see and I've honestly developed my IQ and my vision on the field. That's what they really helped me with them, tactical awareness. I feel at Vaughn we have a, a very different identity, the way we play, even like our, ta our tactics and what we're doing on the practice, the field, fitness, everything, it all comes in together. I'm Joshua Pula, I'm from Vaughn, Ontario, and I'm a striker or winger. One thing these coaches really do, and I've noticed a lot, is they're really on you to stay, stick with your task. They, they want you to work hard, they, want you, they push you to your limits. I, I, I was a guy coming into the team who, I, I'll be honest, I didn't do much work defensively, and they really pushed me to work really hard off the ball. Patrice, Jordan, Vidori, they really uh, pushed me past my limit of, of not working hard and, and going that extra mile. It really helped me uh, achieve my goal. What sets us apart is our, our history. Uh, we've had players like uh, we just had two two Vaughn players get uh, signed to pro contracts in the MLS. With the seventh pick of the first round of the 2019 MLS Super Draft, Minnesota United select from the University of Maryland and a member of the 2019 Generation Adidas class goalkeeper, Dane St. Clair. With the third pick of the second round of the 2019 MLS Super Draft, Orlando City SC select from Syracuse University, defender Kamal Miller. Kamal Miller, a senior out of Syracuse. Uh, and, and it's really them that uh, paved the way through to, to help us get these scholarships. Without Patrice, uh, his, long, his long history of having those connections and, and those guys in, in the past really paved the way for us to, to get these connections to the universities that we're getting looks from. I'm Daniel Raimondo. I play right fullback and I'm from Vaughn. So I've been with Vaughn since I was four years old, just starting from house league and then going up to rep. And then I left Vaughn in, when I was 12 years old till last year I was with TFC. And then last year I joined again and Patrice took me in with open arms and it's been great since then. One, I think that um, Pat, Vads and Jordan, they do a really good job uh, showcasing us. When, when we, we go away a lot, we were in Florida like twice. And like um, Bethesda Cup, um, PDA and all those events, I think they did a good job showcasing us and the preparation from those ever since really high performance pretty much in like August, right after the summer season ended, we kind of were, were going every day where I think other teams kind of after the season, they kind of probably dropped off, but we, we stayed steady training like pretty much every day since then. I'm Joe Colangelo and I work the uh, high performance, Vaughn High Performance Showcase. Uh, I used to be a coach with the, with the group, with the U21 groups and then leading them into, you know, League One. And so that's basically my role. But for the most part, I run the showcase at Vaughn High Performance. Uh, I've been with the program for about five to six years now. It's um, thanks to Patrice Geyser and Carmen Asako bringing me on board. Um, I think what we do is, just like there's a lot of good groups out there as well, but we just set up a good program. It's all in the name and, you know, days a week that we train and we try to, you know, we always talk about a standard and involved in that standard is, you know, not only on-field training, but what we do outside of it. Uh, we do the showcasing, we travel all around North America and try to give these kids an opportunity to be, be looked at and, you know, looked at from college coaches, Canadian and North American. My name is Anthony Vidori. I'm a, the O1 one high performance men's coach, uh, League One assistant and O2 boys assistant. I think with us, every club has great coaches now. Every, the education level of the coach has gone up exponentially over the last 10 years. So I don't think it's, it's just coaching. I think the, the contacts and the relationships that we've established in the U.S. specifically has really helped us to bring those players to, to the forefront. Like someone like Dane playing at, at, at Maryland, you know, Maryland's a school where pros come from. Same with Sir, uh, Kamal at Syracuse. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do your break. Do your break. Good, dude. Stay active. Stay active. My name is Patrice Geyser. Um, I am the technical director of Bonds men's high performance. I used to play at a small club in North York called North York Arts Missouri. Our technical director, Carmen, left, came to Vaughn, asked me to join him, and Arts Missouri was losing, was going to give up the rep team, so I came to Vaughn 11 years ago. 
So uh, it, 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 it started exactly 11 years ago. My first team was in the 1990s at Vaughn. We had a good thing going with Harsha Zuri. Learned a lot from the lessons, came here, and look to grow every year. Our, our, our big thing is we want to have the players surrounded with the best players where the competition is fierce at every day at training level rather than just matches. And then for the games to find them the toughest possible games they could have in order to grow. Yeah, so, uh, you know, I think I would have answered this question very differently five years ago. Every year, as the players improve, I've, I've looked at and improving myself and learning more and more about the game. And I think that the modern game today speaks a lot about being mobile. So for me, a player who's mobile, being able to press, being able to transition, close things down, and just being able to sort of work hard is the, you know, the one that goes hand in hand. A person who's got character, who can make people better, I think, you know, it's become more rare for a young man to have a little character. They're afraid to speak up. More and more reserved athletes are being produced. So someone who's got character that could make people better and someone who's competitive, someone who hates to lose every day. Training session, and I mean lose not just in games that they lost to themselves. I think the, uh, today's young men, their biggest enemies themselves. They let themselves down, coming into training, they come late, they don't, they're not coming prepared, they don't work hard, so someone who wants more out of themselves. You know, and, and I think that's the key word, right? It, it's, it's the culture that our boys don't, uh, you know, they're, they're not shy to go to the older guys to ask them questions, and the sh older guys aren't shy to come out and say, hey, you gotta do a little bit more of this. You know, I think that today, um, people have a real problem taking feedback, but that's not part of our culture. It's all about being better. Our, our uh, you know, players, our former players are always mentoring young guys. So Kamal and Dane, just this December, we're training with the guys, you know, and giving tips. We went to Bethesda and Dane took a, an hour cab to just come to our hotel to sit down with, you know, Malcolm, who's going to Maryland, to talk to him about the Malcolm experience, about the Maryland experience. And he said the good and he said the bad. So I think, you know, I, I think what it is is that they're really proud to be Vaughn players. He's definitely a funny guy. Like, like it's cracked his uh, fair amount of jokes. But <laughs> when it comes when it comes time for business, he's he, he's there. And I mean, he supported all the guys. Whether you're you're the best player on the team or you were the worst player on the team, he he wanted to support you in any way that he could, whether it was on or off the field, things like that. I mean, he just he really made it a family. I think that's why we're there's such a strong connection at Vaughn because. It really felt like a family or like a brotherhood. Whether even playing with a different age groups, so when you when you're a younger guy and you get called up to, let's say, when you're with the 16s or 17s and you get called up to the League One team, it felt like a family still, and they they kind of brought you with open arms and they were they were willing to let you showcase yourself. And there was there's a reason why you're there, and you get rewarded when you do well, which is uh, a nice thing to, to have. Yeah, uh, it was huge. Patrice stepping in was. Uh... One of the best things that probably has ever happened to the club, you know, he he uh, changed everything from the training to uh, to eating habits to the way we play tactically, physically. Uh, he really changed the whole dynamic of our team for the better. Yeah, it's it's you know what uh, the greatest thing I can tell you is that we have built a program that there's a great deal of uh, people that are proud in it, and and it's become sort of very well known who a Vaughn player should be. What we talked about, someone committed, someone self-driven, and with high ambition. And I think that being able to, you know, many kids already know, the ones that don't want to attend to all training sessions, they don't even come, because they know it's not an environment for them. You know, I think for us to continue to uh, push ourselves, and we have a great staff, you know. I think that, again, our networking really helps our boys. You know, the way I judge a team is that, did we find an adequate home for every single player? from our number one goalie to the two, second goalie to the third goalie. So I think the amount of effort we put in as a staff for every single player shows the parents and players that this is a good place to be. So we do get players that want to be in that environment. So we're really lucky as, as the word of mouth, um, you know, our success ratio, and when people come in, they're instantly gravitated because they're, 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 uh, you know, it's almost like a buzz when you come into it.